Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in images to your UI. Now, if you haven't done this before, don't worry, it's quite easy. So first things first, I've set up a third person um, file here. And the second thing we need to do is we need to actually download some game icons. So what I've done here is I've gone to Kenny Assets and I've gone and put in these game icons. Now these are quite uh, of good icons here. You, there's also a bunch of UI icons here, but I chose these in particular because I want to show you a couple of things. Okay, so one thing I highly recommend that you do is just use some stock free icons to make sure that your game uh, just simply works. And if you want to polish these icons, do that at the end. You want to make sure your game is really good to play first before you actually polish your game. Remember, polishing is one of the last steps done. All right, so let's go ahead and let's add in a user interface. So right click, add in a widget blueprint. We're gonna call this heads up display here. And yeah, just heads up display like that here. Let's open that up. And it's actually quite simple. Oh, and by the way, all you have to do is download those icons and extract them and you get two sets, you get black and white here. Okay, so it's actually pretty straightforward in order to add these, uh, uh, these images here. So one thing that I recommend that you do is just download, move an image here. So let's do one first, and then we will move it around. So first things first, you're going to go into the brush here, it is um, hidden a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the, um, and I think the, uh, the icons here, uh, you can see uh, that there are uh, a bunch of different ones here. And there's white and dark ones here. So we just need to uh, pick a good one. So let's maybe pick that one here. And as you can see, it's all stretched out. And you can stretch this out to whatever you want here. And that's not good. So what you do want is you do want your size to be a square because that's what the source file is. And here you go. Now that is, well, I mean, usually you see that up here. So let's go ahead and put that up here. Let's drag a three more over just for practice. And I want to show you a couple things here. So let's go ahead and let's just use an arrow down here. Um, I want to show you the difference between the black and white because it does make a difference, believe it or not. Um, so uh, let's see, we can do anything. Let's just do button A and uh, let's pick a dark one here. Uh, we'll pick arrow down again. Okay, so or maybe pick something else. And I'll just pick home. Okay, so here we go. So the other thing is, again, you want these to both be 100 by 100. And I think you can actually uh, select these as well. Uh, and the image size, uh, multiple values. And yeah, you're going to have to do that one by 100. And of course, 100. Now, there's a few other things that we need to, to check out here. First things first is you always want to have a margin around your screen. It's very important, especially if you want to make mobile games. You do have to do that uh, just because uh, not only does it look good, but sometimes the um, the touch around the edges isn't very good. All right, so the other thing you want to do is add in the anchor. And the easiest way to do this is to add in whichever one is in the corner. And that way, uh, things will stick together. So um, I, obviously, I haven't played these yet. But you can see now I basically do all of this here. And that actually looks uh, pretty good. Now, the other thing you can do is uh, you can take a look at the tint and you can color them up. And I think that's actually pretty neat. So if you want to have different colored UI, uh, you can simply use the, the tint. And I think that's also pretty good here. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, you can add in the color opacity here. They're somewhat similar, but not exactly the same. Okay. So if we go ahead and run it, watch what happens. Nothing. Why? Because we haven't actually added it to the screen. So let's go ahead and let's do that. 
Let's hop into our third person blueprint, go to their blueprints, hit the third person game mode, and here, um, yeah, I think we will use that event, begin play. And in that begin play, we are going to, of course, create a widget. And which widget are we going to create? We're going to create the heads of display. Okay, and then what are we going to do? We're going to add to viewport. All right, and there you go. We're going to add all that to the viewport. I think that looks pretty good. And uh, let's compile it and look at that. Everything looks good. And voila, there we go. We now have everything working here. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you um, that if it was, um, you know, white or black is because you want to take a look at this and rich frankly looks a bit better well um, obviously it's the white that looks better and I did want to show you that on purpose just because uh, even though um, you might use black in certain situations it's better to probably use white okay so you can simply just change these to white and you'll see that that everything is just uh, quite a bit better um, with uh, with the white so uh, it does look do, does look a bit better here and as you can see um, one of the things that I um, one of the things that I wanted to do here is if you look, the anchors tend to anchor everything to the point. And I think that's really good because sometimes if you, especially if you're on a mobile device or any device really, like if you have a 16 by nine ratio or a 16 by 10 ratio, if the anchors are not there in the right spot, this is not gonna work, look very good. Remember, like max have a 16 by 10 ratio, which is roughly this and 16 by nine is again, roughly by the, like this, right? And then uh, there's different aspect ratios, which, you know, are even wider, like there are some monitors. So you gotta keep that in mind. So uh, adding in the anchors, it's the easiest, it's, this is one of the easiest ways to anchor something uh, in all the game engines that I've seen over the years, all right? So uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps with this channel. And if you really like this channel, you can buy our products down below. We have multiple different price tiers because this channel does not do a Patreon. Again, if you really like this tutorial and you really like Mammoth Interactive, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, and we have monthly and yearly options. It's the best way to save with e-learning. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.